Welcome back, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and we are about to start a new project on the Lego Let's Chat every Friday. Uh, this is going to be something else. Uh, this is 2,354 pieces, set 10283. It is the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. And this was sent in by none other than Cosmic Dancer. Very fitting name, Cosmic. <laughs> uh, in this particular, in this particular, uh, a gift. I I'm just over the moon about this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I have no idea how long it's going to take. Probably eight weeks. <laughs> Who knows? There's a lot of pieces. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Um, speaking of, uh, we can take a look uh, a little bit closer at the box. I mean, the front is pretty self-explanatory. There are. I don't know if I can really show you the sides because the box is so big, it's it probably hit the camera, but I can at least turn it around so you can see back. Uh, it is a much larger kit than I anticipated. Uh, originally, I saw a measurement of 14 inches, and I thought this was 14. It's not. The width is 14. The length is 22 inches, so it's it's almost a foot and a half long. Oh, it's almost two feet long, really. Uh, so it's going to be very, very cool to put this together. Uh, it does come with the satellite as well. So we'll probably make a decision along the way as to how we're going to display it. Uh, but some very, very cool stuff. Uh, I have to figure out where I'm going to put it when it's done. Because <laughs> I, I barely had room to find a spot for the DeLorean. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, no, exactly, Cosmic. Good luck finding a place to put it. Uh, so I have I pre-opened the side of it here just so that it wasn't be too too problematic on stream to get it open. So I'm just gonna peel off some tape here, and we should get rid of it. It's one of the other older boxes that had tape on it, which I appreciate. I much prefer a taped box than a glued box. It's much cleaner to open. <laughs> That's bag 17. I'm not sure what we we average about maybe two bags a week I guess it depends on the size of the bags All right, there's gonna be a slightly faster way to do this hope everyone's having a good Friday it is snowing quite heavily here in Dartmouth in Nova Scotia there we go that is a lot Bag number two. Ah. Oh, I, I posted in the Discord as well. Do you remember that uh, flux capacitor sticker that we were trying to find for the DeLorean? I found it. The DeLorean book, uh, the time machine book, came in an envelope like this, and it, the, it was in the envelope. The sticker was stuck like back in one of the corners or something. So I did find it, so that's good. Uh, I'll probably put it on when I do the light kit. First stop, knowing the bags. <laughs> yeah. 13. There's bag number one. Two. There's five. There's three. Three looks like it might be the satellite. Or hopefully this is not crazy loud. My microphone can sometimes pick up the high pitch stuff. I guess for some people it might be like ASMR. Oh, there's another bag too. So we've got two, seven, eight. This is just not numbered nine some of these bags are quite small that's six was not ex expecting the green pieces thirteen fourteen fifteen
There's 10. 16, 17. Does it all fit? No. <laughs> sort of. But, uh... That's a lot of Lego. That's a lot of Lego, friends. Flowers in space. Alright, well, we'll just set most of this aside. My guess is we might get through these these three today. We'll see. Uh, there's I'm not going anywhere because of the the weather. So pull up a chair, grab a coffee, maybe throw me up on that second monitor while you're doing some work for the day. Yeah. So we'll start at least with. Probably those two. We might get to them. I guess I should open up the book too, huh? Might be a good place to start. And I will indeed uh, check it for stickers. Can all agree? Empty envelope. Nothing in there. Nothing up my sleeve. <clears throat> Much nicer front to the book than the DeLorean. We've got some reflective, very shiny things, probably for the solar panels and other things on the Discovery. I thought I saw... That's strange. The box, there's a bunch of stuff that has, like, United States flags on it, and those might be pre-printed pieces. Unless the stickers are in, in something else. Instructions? Yeah, who needs instructions for 2,300 pieces? <laughs> So I've made some adjustments to the camera. Unfortunately, we're getting a little bit of glare or a lot of glare off the lights, but uh, I've changed the f-stop and the ISO on the camera. I've also increased the shutter speed. So I'm hoping it's a clearer picture than it has been the last few weeks, but you'll have to let me know. Zing the pizza dude. Yep, I indeed am one of the guys from the Spun Chunks. Right, I can't read this this far away. A space flight icon. Five space shuttle orbiters made up of NASA's space transportation system fleet the Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavor. Combined, they flew 135 missions carrying 355 people into space. I didn't know it was that many. Discovery flew the most missions carrying the highest number of passengers while traveling further and higher than other orbiters. It also was Discovery's assignment to launch and deploy the Hubble Space Telescope on April 1990, uh, or in April of 1990, as part of the STS-31 mission. In 2021, the 40th anniversary of the Space Shuttle program, we take the opportunity to revisit this famous mission. That's very cool. The launch and deployment of the Hubble Space Telescope in April 1990 marked the most significant advancement in astronomy since Galileo's telescope. It was the first major optical telescope to be placed in space, the ultimate mountaintop. Above Earth's atmospheric distortion, rain, clouds, and light pollution, Hubble had an unobstructed view of the universe. Scientists have used Hubble to observe the most distant stars in the galaxy, as well as the planets in our solar system. It's funny, I wonder if there's going to be a James Webb telescope from LEGO. That would be awesome. Because that thing looks really cool, too. And it's seeing all kinds of crazy stuff compared to compared to Hubble because of the way that it, it sees light. All right. 
right, so this is actually a brief. From the design team, uh, Lego designer Milan Madge. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. The space shuttle is one of the most complex vehicles ever made. So translating this into a Lego set was a little daunting. We needed to create a smooth exterior and interior capable of holding the payload of the biggest challenge was adding functional landing gear. Trying to complete the front main landing gear without removing any space from the payload bay and without compromising the structure of the model was a real puzzle. It's easy to be blown away by the complex engineering and sheer power of these vehicles, but for me the most fascinating thing about spaceflight is the human element. That's why my favorite part of this model are the tiny blue seats that carried five human beings on the space mission. I spent hours as a kid building my own versions of the Lunar Lander and the Discovery Orbiter in Lego Bricks, so to be asked to work on this project was so exciting and such a privilege. That's awesome. Since retiring the space shuttle in 2011, NASA has created public-private partnerships with the companies Boeing and SpaceX to develop and operate new generation of space craft and launch systems capable of carrying crews to low Earth orbit and the International Space Station, encouraging industry to provide human transportation services and low form low Earth orbit allows NASA to expand its focus on building spacecraft and rockets for the next giant leap with space missions to Moon and Mars. Yeah, I think Moon is 2025 or 2026. I can't remember. Removal tool, bags one, two, and three. Yeah, so we're going to be building the. Um, Looks like we're building the uh, Hubble te te uh, Space tel Telescope first. So I guess, what do we want to do? One, two, and three are clearly the Hubble Space Telescope. Um, I'll go with a vote from the chat if we want to start with four, five, six and start on the base of the shuttle. What, what say you? What say you, chat? Oh, there's more stuff here, too. Dan says in order. Cosmic, you, you might laugh at the removal tool instructions, but I use them wrong all the time. Toy Bear also chiming in with one, two, three. Kel Birdie is, is uh, happy with ever. Four, five, six, four, five, six. I think it's pretty even. I think it's pretty even. Well, if you set a poll, then we've got to wait for it to finish. It's the only thing. If you want to set a quick poll, like a minute, <laughs> I mean, there's what? There's only what? 10 people here? The Hubble Space Telescope was created in a collaboration between NASA and its European partner, the European Space Agency, ESA. From its vantage point approximately 342 miles, 550 kilometers above the Earth, the 43-foot, 13.2-meter long and 14-foot, 4.2-meter wide telescope can detect light with quote-unquote eyes currently over 20 times sharper than the best ground-based telescopes. The first major observatory in space. Hubble's mission was to spend at least 15 years probing the farthest and faintest reaches of the cosmos, thanks to five space shuttle servicing missions that took place between 1993 and 2009. It has far exceeded this goal, operating and observing the universe for over 30 years. I can't believe it was that long ago. During its time in orbit, the telescope has taken more than 1.4 million observations and astronomers have used the data to publish more than 17,000 specific publications on broad range of topics. Wow. Hunters chiming in with one, two, three. So we've got a quick poll. 
quick poll in the chat. Everybody slam into your keyboards, face bash the keyboards. Do you want to do bags one, two, and three, which is, hold on, I'll back up to the page. So bags one, two, and three are the Hubble telescope, and then we can start four, or we can start four, five, and six, which is the actual uh, shuttle. So if we did this, I would probably continue that until it was done and then do the Hubble telescope last. Or we could do uh, the space telescope first. I can't speak today. Words are hard. Things like space telescope are not things that roll off the tongue. Ten seconds left. Poll results say. Start at bag one. 70%? Am I reading that right? Toy bear. <laughs> Toy bear is like, oh god. <laughs> so it looks like most people want me to start with one, two, three. Okay. I mean, it's all going to get done at some point. I try to have one option to start at one, you monster. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so good. All right, we'll start with big one. It's funny, I actually kind of thought that the Hubble Space Telescope would be the last thing that we did. It's, it feels like an accessory, you know? I mean, I'm assuming this is going to be the stand that it sits on. But how was everybody's week? We did a lot of Minecraft stuff this week. There's uh, three streams, I think I fit in. Three streams. At least two. Oh, wait, maybe I only did Wednesday, Thursday. I think I only did Wednesday, Thursday. I wanted to do Tuesday, but I didn't get to it. Too much adulting going on.
week started horribly until Wednesday when I left my toxic, horrible workplace and a job I've never, uh, and I have a job I've, uh, uh, sorry, and a job I have ever been in. Oh, I see what you're saying. Then it got better. Yeah, well, leaving places like that behind you and not looking back is a great way. A great way to end the week. Do, 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 do. Oh, not peace. Yeah, I've been busy um, behind the scenes with a bunch of accounting and stuff. It's that that time of year where I'm gonna get my tax information ready. It's so funny. Uh, apparently, this is not um, this is unique to Canada. Uh, we we have to do our own taxes. Like, I mean, I have an accountant that I pay to do mine, but like people, it's not just done automatically by the government. <laughs> apparently, that's what happens in other places. But ever since I started my own business, I I pay an accountant to do it just because there's like service tax and other things that get involved with the business. So saves me the I mean I could probably do it. I don't think it would be incredibly hard, but I think it saves me the stress of did I do it right? <laughs> uh, and plus like a tax professional has all the uh the, the tricks and knowledge to like save you money or file a specific way and Things that are to your advantage, you know? I think in the UK, people who are self-employed have to do some parts of the tax themselves, but I'm not in that category, so I might be wrong. Uh, says Hunter, uh, Cosmic says, yes, self-employed, you do your own taxes, not self-employed, it's done for you, pretty simple, of course. Ah, uh, put simply, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, um, I mean, I, I, I still have to do all my tracking, like I have a statement of business activities. Elkhorn. Continuing a six-month gift subscription from Cosmic Dancer. Hello, hello. You're in month three. Thanks for coming by, Elkhorn. Thanks for giving uh, Cosmic the shout-out. Appreciate that. Is that the is that the sub that I missed, Cosmic? Or did I miss a new one? My Streamlabs page, mate. Might not be up to... Oh, I gotta log back in with Twitch. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, the fresh Lego set. The, uh, the room that we have <laughs> compared to when the DeLorean was out here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this with the space shuttle. The space shuttle is even bigger. 
All right, I'm going to grab this. I've got a funny feeling this is going to come together quite quickly, as well as have fingerprints on it. That goes there, and then these go upside down. And right off the bat, we have a sticker, because why not? Number two, the Hubble Space Telescope. Whoops. Crap. Oh no. That's not good. This is why I really feel Lego should just print this. Like just print it on the block. I'll pay the extra couple bucks. <laughs> Especially when you're dealing with stuff with text on it, like you really wanted to get it straight. You know, like you don't want it to be on an angle. All that kind of stuff. You can always tell when I'm doing stickers because I don't say anything. <laughs> Toy totally Bear says, I think one of the pizzas just launched prematurely. Yep. Accurate. This is the first time I think we've had a, a black uh, instruction book, okay? I think they've all been gray, right? Oh, those are different. Hopefully you can still see the black pieces against the black book. I do always like the the engineering that they put into the stands for things. Usually quite cool. Maybe it's black because it's a NASA thing or a special set. I don't know. I mean, it could be just black because it's a space set. That, it might be just a decision that's up to the designer. I know someone that works at Lego. I should ask them. Whoops. Whoops. 
Oh, that goes the other way. And we've got two of these. Two of the little ones. A black booklet for space theme sets would make sense. Yeah, like I wonder if the, because um, there's the Apollo rocket and then there is the um, moon lander and the International Space Station. I thought the International Space Station looked cool, but it's a tiny, like it's it's a big model, but it's small scale in terms of like what the Lego pieces represent. And I think my buddy John has it and he said it's kind of flimsy, like it doesn't stay stiff and that would bug me. I think that would drive me a little crazy. All right, so we got these pieces under there. And now we need two of those, one of these, one of those, one of those, and three of those. be the wrong one. I always like this kind of stuff where you've got, you're building up this tower, but then you've got attachments going down the side. Pretty cool. It always makes for an interesting connection later on. Case in point. So this actually puts this. So these are offset. They're not lined up. And so when you put them in like this, I think this is going to set the angle of the stand. Well, that's really tight. There we go. That is hard to do. That does not want to cooperate. There we go. Wow. Yeah, so it sets sets the angle of the stand. Then we do got to do that again. built the Saturn V. Oh, right. It was, this, was it the Saturn V rocket? Was that the set? I think I said Apollo, didn't I? How well do you know the person that works at Lego? Do you know them so well that they might do a certain podcast with you? Uh, yeah. I mean, he, uh, he would probably do the podcast. I don't think that he would be able to talk about much. I'm not even sure what he does. I'm not sure if, I don't know if he designs sets or if he designs, um, like graphic design work? I think both. I'll reach out. Um, something that he did mention to me uh, when I was making the DeLorean, he saw my post on Instagram and he said, when you're done, let me know. 
Though I still have to do that because he knows the designer of the DeLorean. He knows the guy that worked on it, so. That'd be kind of fun. I could certainly talk about like stuff that has come out, I would imagine. You know, like if able to connect with with someone about stuff that's already been released. I don't want to lose a finger here. Very precise. Alright, so we need that. Two of those. These and two of those. Crazy how precise all this stuff fits together. Oh, that's just tension. Oh no, there's there's stuff there. Never mind. That's the back. I'd be really interested to hear from someone uh, from Lego on the Citadel Cafe. Yeah, me too. I should ask him if if he or because there'd be really interesting questions to ask about, like, what was your first day at Lego like? You know, not specific stuff to, like, the, the toys, but, like, the experience of working there. That's if they're allowed. I don't, Lego is pretty tight-lipped about that kind of stuff, from what I can see. That is a really slick-looking stand. I like it. And then we've got these two left. Or these and they just we make the round part bottom by putting these together these go there and those go there like an oval type stand did you know first conceived in the 1940s the hubble teeth space telescope took decades of planning before its launch in 1990. does anybody know how long the james webb telescope was being developed and built just a curiosity so we've got a few little spare parts left over but that is a stand where the hubble space telescope telescope wow Space telescope. Hold those words. Initial designs for the telescope, then named the Next Generation Space Telescope, began in 1996. Wow. So only six years after the Hubble was out there. And the... the the space telescope only launched in like 2018, right? 18 or 19? When did it, when did it, when did the James Webb telescope actually launch?
Lots of bright colors. Obviously, this is mostly on the inside. Hey, look, a, ple uh, a place that I don't have to put a sticker. More of that, please, Lego. <laughs> Brings back memories of, like, OG Lego when I was a kid, when you just had, like, the random, the random bricks. We used to, me and my friends used to make spaceships but they were all the one kind of block we just had the two by four like this but it was a block and we would make all these different ships out of them different color schemes i still have that lego somewhere that's something i might look into doing actually is uh, once we are all caught up there is a new set that I, i'm gonna get um but it's not super big and i I'd, I'd like to um i might dig out my pirate ship lego that would be really fun to put together, I think. I, I don't... I'm sure I have the instruction book. That's if not, I'm sure I could find a PDF online. Imagine working on something so hard like the Hubble and the elation of launching it. Oh, for sure. Have you have you ever watched the videos of successful launches from NASA? It's there's definitely a lot of celebration in the control room when things go right. These little ones are always the hardest things to place. So these we can just here.
On a scale of one to shouting cosmic like Kirk shouts Khan in Star Trek, how annoyed would you be if another big set turned up once you were halfway through this one? <laughs> I wouldn't be annoyed at all, Cosmic. Uh, I would not be annoyed at all. Maybe that's something you and I can discuss. If it's something that you want to look into. I mean, obviously I very much appreciate the amazing support from you and everybody. Uh, over Actually, over the last year, like over 2022, like that's how we got to being able to do these, these LEGO streams every week. The ongoing, the ongoing support. Two, four, six, two, four, six. Oh, I missed one of these. Darn it. no easy way to get to get these guys all in one spot there either.
Uh, it's Pika Kath. Yeah, there's quite a few colors in this one. This is the the Hubble Space Telescope portion of the build. We just we started with the stand and then we moved on to to um, I'm not sure what you want to call it the body of the telescope I guess. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of different uh, different colors. Some of there's definitely some yellow in the actual final build, so some of it could be external. But for the most part, I think we're looking at uh, the insides. These little things are always just the take the longest time. I think I'm gonna take a break after I finish knowing this set. Reheat the coffee. For anybody that's new, that's a, a regular occurrence on the channel. I take a break about once an hour. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, Lego, Minecraft, it's all the same. It's funny, as excited as I am for this Lego set, I had to kind of like remind myself, oh yeah, I'm not playing Minecraft today. I was excited to get back into the um into the, uh, the tower builds. Uh, Kelberty, you gotta say I would never have the patience to organize my Lego like that, but it sure is satisfying to look at. Thanks. There was someone in the Lego chat on Discord that said, like, I can appreciate separating things out by color, but after that, I'm done. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't do what you do, Joel. <laughs> Um, I do it because it extends the content. I mean, I like it, but there's definitely times where I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. Especially when you're at the point where like, you know where all those pieces are in a pile over here. I don't need to lay out the yellow ones to know what I'm doing. And I feel like that's where my patience is like, I, re I really want to move on. Uh, anyway, speaking of, I'm going to grab that quick break. We will be back in about five or six minutes with more of the Lego Let's Chat. Be right back.
So I just realized that there's a second bag number two. So we should probably get all of these out. Hey, there's Steven ESE. Long time no see. This looks like a lot of silver stuff. Steven brought a gift with him. Oh, did I miss a sub? Jumbo Sale Gaming, subscribing at Tier 1. 25 months for Jumbo Sale. Thanks so much, Jumbo Sale. That's amazing. <laughs> really appreciate the support, my friend. Uh, where was the first sub? Why is Streamlabs not telling me stuff? Oh, resub. It's under a different heading. Steven with the, with the sub. That was a gift sub. From The Cosmic Dancer. Thanks for catching that. Was that during the break, Cosmic? Is that why I missed it? Appreciate it, of course. Of course, of course. It was during the break. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for, uh, for letting me know. I guess these make up the body of the telescope from what I can see from the picture. Trying to keep it all in the same place. At least as far as colors go. That didn't take too long. That did not take too long.
Well, Watts, you got to cook tonight. Nice. What are you cooking? Appreciate you coming by. I've got a, a chef's plate meal I was going to make. Not sponsored, just I've been using the service. But I don't know. I feel like I might... I might try something else. I mean, I can't do anything like order pizza because it's a snowstorm. So takeout is out of the question. But I do have an air fryer now, so maybe I'll try to make something myself in that. Although all of my my meat's frozen. I was at a pub last last night with uh, with Steven actually, and. Um, couple of buddies and Peyton had a burger and it looked really good and it made me want to have a hamburger. I mean, I've got a nice meal. It's from Chef's Plate. It's like a sun-dried tomato turkey pasta thing, which is fine, but it's just like, it's not at all a hamburger. Like, it's completely, completely different. This is our second bag of the day, even though bag two had two parts to it. How do people feel about the lengths of these Lego Let's Chats? I try to I try to keep them shorter than the Minecraft streams. I find it harder to sit at the Lego table for a long time. So I usually, it's it, it feels like roughly two hours or two bags, like whatever seems to be around the completion time those things is where I'm I generally kind of trail off Yeah, that burger looked amazing. Makes me want to go get dinner next time. Yeah, I think I might. Um, I'm trying. The idea behind just suggesting a pint after dinner was to try and for anybody that was on a budget to try and like not put anybody in a place where they felt like they had to go buy a meal, you know. But I mean, I was fine. I, I ate before I went. I didn't feel like I was rushed or anything. But I had the advantage of like I think I finished my stream at 4:30 and made dinner, so. I think I was done eating by about six. So I completely guessed at how many rows I was going to have to do. And we nailed it. Are you not satisfied? Are you not entertained? I maybe came down a little bit too low. It'd be hard to see. We're gonna start off with this black piece. Bag number two. Two of these. Neat, these are probably going to be helpful for like left and right later on. The blue side, blue team versus red team. So uh, now that we're, you know, an hour in, how is the, how's the picture? Is it bright enough? Is it crisp enough? 
Does anything feel blurry? And if anybody has the time, uh, maybe one of the mods, if you want to pop open my VOD at another screen from, from last week and see if this looks clearer, then that would be super helpful too. I'll be doing it myself afterwards, but I'm just curious now. You could say no, but you'd be lying. <laughs> nice. Hey, there's Aldebar. How's it going? I haven't noticed anything blurry. I need to go back and watch the VOD for a proper look. So, I mean, I was being really picky when I was talking about the other VOD, but I did feel like it was lacking. And I'd like to try and do a good job. Sun-dried tomato pasta and, uh, and turkey sounds really good. Might have to make pasta for dinner. Yeah, I've got a nice bottle of red wine too, so well, that might be what we do. All right. Oh man, we're, we're off to the races. Pretty quick. There. Getting all the colors right away. Gotta go before the family starts tapping their watches. Glowwatts, thank you ever so much. Good to see you. Appreciate that you're a sub and a regular. Have a good one. Red one. And a funky blue one. No, two of these. Imagine the camera angle is a little bit funky from to see kind of how this is coming together from up there, but this is kind of what we got so far. These two here and two of these. Joel, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't already a job on my to-do list that says compare VOD of today's stream with that last Lego stream to compare camera quality. <laughs> well, thanks, Cosmic. I have a hard time testing it because both of my monitors are high res, so everything looks blurry when you're blowing up something that's 1080p. Well, those are white. I was like, I don't have any gray pieces like that. And I realized these are white pieces. Of... We're using all the colors today. It's funny, I wonder why they have like this sea green, it's kind of mossy green rather than just a bright green, you know? Come to think of it, I don't know if LEGO really has. I mean, they've got 
tree pieces that are green, but I don't remember green blocks. I wonder if it's meant to mimic some of the materials inside, like if there's some sort of like insulating foam or, or some sort of special alloy that's inside the Hubble Space Telescope that is green, if that's why they chose that color. Two of these. Oh, we got to make two of them and four of these. Yeah, the green is not a color you were expecting either, Cosmic. Yeah. I agree. I'm feeling very, like, fumbly today. I wonder if it's because I worked out this morning and I did back and arms. I can certainly feel it in my shoulder from yesterday, reaching up here to get stuff. It's like, oh, I worked out yesterday. All right, so that goes that way. This goes this way. They match up, and then they go blue facing the white, like that. Sorry, y'all can't see the instructions. Finally have an appointment with a physio for the problem with my shoulder. It's taken six months. Wow. Yeah, we've got long wait times in Canada too. I mean, thankfully, it's uh, it's at no cost to us. These two big pieces. go under here I mean it looks cool <laughs> oh we're getting into the, f the fancy stuff now and go on here.
these. Four of these little guys. No good that your shoulder has been hurting you, but I hope the appointment goes well for Cosmic Dancer. Yeah, me too. Shoulder stuff can be really tricky, especially with people that do a lot of computer work. Right, so here's some of the, the cool um, yellow stuff that's on the outside. I need to actually have a close look at this to see how they did this. Okay, I see. So they're using these little parts on them to, like, to connect them. So you put them all here, and then you just turn them so that they touch their neighbor. Whoops. An interesting little detail. It's cool. And then these two go this way. Always my favorite, the little great piece. Oh, neat. So this goes on top of here. That's cool. So it's even a, a tighter looking detail. That's really neat. And then one of these gets gripped in here. And then we flip it over and we do the other side. Yeah, I've never seen that before uh, either, probably, Binky. The, uh, the little yellow attachment with the top on it, it's, it's neat. And so there's not a lot of like space Lego, like there used to be when I was a kid, like that's what, that's all that I had for a while, you know, was before the pirate stuff came out, it was all space, really focused on all the space Lego. Like the... What's this, what's the character's name from the movie? Nine of those, we do this again. I think I'm actually going to put these on first time. Space monorail, I remember that. 
Oh, no, I meant the space the space character from the Lego movie. Let's get the blue blue suit. He's always very excited about rocket ships. Is it Benny? Is his name? Ah, Steven confirms it was Benny. Nice. Yeah, I'll see if I can do this in a way that's really clear for people to see. So you put these down. Kind of going around in a spiral. Like that. That's these little yellow pieces here. And then you just rotate them until they hit their neighbor. According to the picture. And it creates this little... Kind of like... Sideways, it's not quite a diamond, but it gets it kind of gets the point across. And then we grab this again. I tried to get through the second Lego movie, and I don't think I liked it. Or maybe I liked the second Lego movie, but I tried to watch the first one again, and I didn't like it. I don't really like Will Ferrell, so the first Lego movie is hard to deal with. <clears throat> or a green. Yeah, the little yellow circle on top really makes it. Like, I think it really completes the, the detail. I agree. Whoops. And this now goes here. Ten of those. One of these. Does anybody have any Lego sets that are coming out that they have their eye on? Three, three, four. I mean, I'd, the first time I saw the, the Lego movie, I liked it. And then this goes here. The Space Telescope was named after an American astronomer, Edwin Hubble, who lived from 1889 to 1953. Little anecdote. Here. That looks really cool. This has got like a um, a shiny, but like a little bit of a, a wobble to it. Like there's a part of the cast and it kind of makes it look like it's not a solid, solid material, but like it's got, it looks, it looks tempered, I guess is what I'm saying. The, the finish on those blocks.
Leonic, thanks very much for the follow. Yeah, that's why I got into Minecraft, uh, ping the net, is because um, I was t talking about only being able to grab Lego when it was on sale at the time. This was, what, 2017, I think? And then um, Steven, ESC, in our chat said, well, me and my boys play Minecraft. You should try that. And here we are. And now I think I might play more Minecraft than Steven and his kids. <laughs> that goes there and this goes. Got two of these. Whoops. Crap. That went really far. Hold on a second, folks. I gotta go find that. I'm actually going to have to throw up another quick break because I think that went under the radiator and I need a flashlight. So just give, give me give me a minute because I feel like we're going to have to uh, find this before we move on. So I'll, I'll be right back.
Found it. Found it. Took a minute. There we go. It's actually coming together pretty quickly. Let's go that way. I am missing something. Oh, this is the bottom. This goes over the blue part, really? Interesting. Unless I missed a step. Nope. Okay. Press the process. Uh, yeah, the piece was under the radiator. I'm glad actually it didn't go very far. Like it actually went into the radiator. I've got um, hot water baseboard heating. So it went into the radiator and dropped down to the floor. And I was really concerned it was going to go behind the laminate flooring. Because the, we'll say, what's the opposite of detail oriented? The people that put my flooring in didn't care. And so there's lots of gaps uh, and places for stuff to fall and get caught. So I was worried that it was going to get somewhere where I wouldn't be able to move the boards to get it. But it was not a big deal. All right. And then this goes on the bottom here. That's really cool. Opposite of detail-oriented monsters, Joel. The word you're looking for is monsters. Yeah. I was searching for a word that wasn't a swear word. <laughs> is basically what I was trying to do. As like the family-friendly, Joel. Keep it family-friendly. Family-friendly. Got in this up like this. 
And then we're going to make four special attachments. I like when they do this all at one time. Like I feel like in other other builds you get half you get all the way done one section and then you have to repeat it because it's like a wing or a door or something that's repeated on the thing. But I like it when it's like, oh, you should build all four of these right now. And then attach them and so we don't have to repeat this design step later on. There's a lot of shiny bits on this one. They go here. Harder to attach than you'd think. I was wondering what these big black pieces were going to be for. And then we add in one red piece there. two of those Joel after dark I think cosmic you asked me about one one time if I'd ever I'd ever do an after dark stream where it's meant to be meant to be a little bit more colorful I mean I've done it I've certainly I'm sure I swore while I was playing Borderlands not working very well. It's not square. There's the, uh, I guess the lens of the telescope. Would have liked a little bit more plating in there, maybe. Finish it off. Oh, stickers are in bag three. A few little pieces left, but that's bag two done. I don't think bag three. No. 
I think we can probably we can probably do bag three. I'll uh, I'll take a break first. I'll take a proper break, and then when we come back, we'll put together bag three, and that will complete the entire uh, Hubble telescope part of the build. I think two and two B are done. Yes, just not. I mean, yes to be, just not not to be, which is confusing. Oh, they were both in Minecraft. Both times I dropped a swear were in Minecraft. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. Probably creepers. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to step away for that short break, refresh my water and whatnot, and when we come back, we will finish the Hubble telescope. I'll be right back.
So it's not stickers, actually. It's uh, some, like vinyl sails, I guess. That's good. I'm glad they don't have to make put stickers down there that size. Uh, page And that's why we check the bags. It's so funny. I don't have a recycle bag close to me in the studio. It's in the kitchen. So these plastic bags, they just kind of get thrown behind me on the floor. <laughs> so whenever I go for my little break, walk to the kitchen to get a glass of water or refresh my coffee or something, and like there's just <laughs> plastic bags all over my studio. Some of them are filled with Lego on the left, and then some of them are, are just empty on the right. And but it's just everywhere. Okay, we may we may not be knolling out all of these little teeny tiny little bits. Holy crap. Like, that's a flower, I think. Or it looks like it might be. This is where I can see Steven's technique when he does Lego of having small Tupperware containers field of stuff. I feel like this would be a good example of utilizing that kind of organization. What well, I mean, I don't know, I guess I guess that's what people would use little plastic containers. Little dishes. Buy some from the dollar store maybe. These look suspiciously like lances from medieval <laughs> Lego sets. That's what those look like. There's going to be some very unique specialty pieces in some of these kits that we've been putting together. I don't see a lot of these silver pieces being used in other Lego sets. You got your containers from Ikea. Oh, very cool. Are they round, square? I don't remember. I'll have to tune in the next time that you stream some Lego. Do you have a date for when you're planning on starting your next Lego stream, Steven? The plastic yeet. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Lots of little pieces. <clears throat> Hope to start it this Saturday or Sunday morning. Nice. 
Thanks for the shout out for Stephen Cosmic. Appreciate that. Folks, if you're not already following Stephen, y'all should go do it. Stephen streams from the Citadel sometimes, from Shardia is the name of your single player Minecraft world, I think. Both Minecraft streams, and then now Lego. More of a whenever he gets the chance sort of streams, but you can't find him if you're not following him. So there's that. You've been told. I like that these little pieces appear to have stickers already put on them. Very happy with that. I'm sure there will be at least one or two stickers we have to put on. But for the size of the of the kit, I was surprised how small the sticker sheet is, so I'm okay with that. And two of them are like the big um, nameplate kind of like accessory stickers. That's a whip. <laughs> like that is a that's a minifigure whip is what that is. These are lightsaber hilts. Excuse me. So out of curiosity for folks that are regulars in my chat, if I was to start adding maybe other games, it's hard to get myself away from Minecraft because I do really want to finish that Westell build. But if I have the itch to get other games happening, uh, what other games do you think would be good to stream? I did download a new um, new update for Oxygen Not Included. I think I might have mentioned that one.
so hard to get these really little straight lines. Especially when you knock them out. I've got these two. Of course there's three of these. Why would there be just be two? Anytime you can lay these pieces down where they're not going to roll around, a lot of headache later. And then pick them up as always. I wonder if these are actually lances from menu pickers. They might be a little bit long. Oh, you know what they are? They're probably like flagpoles. Like the kind of thing where you'd put like a... A rider's... Banner or signet. On top of it. <clears throat> Pardon me.
<clears throat> oh, there's another one of these. Whoops. should fit through there. Weird that there's only three of those arc pieces. What games would you like to try out on stream? Um, I know I don't want to get in. Like, I was, I was watching a couple of people play some different simulators. Industries of Titan is having its initial release now, later on the month, like the 24th, I think, of January. Um, I liked that briefly when I played it, but it was in such a deep state of development that I'm not sure if I really got a taste of what the game would be like. Um, and part of the, the hang-up I find for me starting new games on stream is, you know, unfinished projects in Minecraft, unfinished projects in... I shouldn't say unfinished, ongoing. The kind of sandbox games where, like, you just you make your own to-do list and it's always a mile long for things like Satisfactory and Minecraft. Um, I'm trying to think about other games that we might have had. But... Um, I don't, I, I tried and I don't think I enjoyed the experience of playing, um, City Skylines. The game just feels like too much work. It doesn't feel fun. At least not for me. Cosmic says, I'd like to see you play Cult of Lamb, or because I've already played it and I want someone I uh, like watching to play it now. That's cool. I've, I've, it's on my wish list. I almost bought it. I was, I, I decided to buy the expansion to, um, 
oxygen not included instead. And I can't tell you why. I think I just happened to feel like oxygen not included was going to be because I already knew how to play it and it was also a, a deeper sale for um for oxygen. So I, I fibbed when I said that we weren't gonna lay out all these once I start. Didn't exactly make a sharp little box of the whole thing, but got most of the way there. Chat's lucky that I haven't started to know you. That's fair. For something like that had an endpoint story than a sandbox. Yeah, I might. I think I might prefer something like that. The thing that has me holding off about Cult of Lamb is that I'm not a big fan of roguelites. So, not my, not my highest priority. I'm trying to think about what else I have on my... And the other one is a city builder. It's a medieval city builder. That's on my short list. My wish list for um, Steam. Man, where's the page? There we go, bag three. <clears throat> whole thing just gets coded. <laughs> awesome, now leave it as is. If there is that moment where like I feel like I want to leave it briefly. It's the kind of thing where like I think maybe the next time I, I have a, uh, a break that lines up with like we've just finished nulling a bag and then I need to take a break. I should just switch to a break where it's a video instead of a still image.
this piece. And then we flip it over. This goes in the middle. And that goes like that. Oh, and this covers up the, the front of the telescope. That's cool. This goes right here. Oh, not like that. It doesn't. I feel like that should be in farther. Yeah, it should be. So why? I think I've done something wrong with that. Is up like that. <laughs> Looks like we're doing some more side details. Got two of each. These. those all right so this goes in here goes on the end of that and then this goes on the end of this does anybody know off the top of their head how many different Lego pieces exist or is that a stat that we know from the interwebs like how many different designed pieces there are. It must be a ton. <laughs> Steven sigh. This is such a cool looking set. I agree. It is a very cool looking set. And thank you again to Cosmic Dancer. What do you look for in a game that has an end point and story? A specific genre of game? Anything you would like to avoid an, un um, an unorganized... Avoid like an unorganized Lego bag. Um, I'm not big on like, you know, Call of Duty and first person shooters and stuff like that all the time. I liked Destiny. Destiny was fun. And I enjoyed Halo. But I didn't really finish either. Although Destiny is not something you really finish. finish. Alright, so this goes here. And... on the other side as well. That would make sense. And I've got these two pieces and they go here. These can... I don't know if they're meant that's 
is what they do or whether they're movable on the actual um, telescope. The thing that I'm really curious about now, having seen the size of this, when we compare it to the actual uh, shuttle, the shuttle is going to be massive. I'm not complaining, but it's just it's going to be big. <laughs> yeah, I imagine there would be more panic in real life if uh, things go crunch. Technology is not supposed to go crunch. My PC computer fan made a funny noise the other day. It eventually kind of corrected itself. It's like, I don't like that noise. Not a fan. goes there's the NASA bit it was oh I see so this is really cool we've got these um, rods there next to the claw pieces and it's one of the ways that Lego deals with angles and I really like it but so it, it creates kind of like a, a, a panel for this diagonal space which I think is really neat And we have to do it again. Yeah, as far as games, you know, something like Cult of Lamb, I think I've threatened to play Cozy Grove once or twice. But I think part of it is just my mood. And a lot of the time... I'm in the mood for Minecraft, and part of that is because I know that it's something I can stream very easily. It's very popular. I'm still trying to grow the channel, so you know it makes sense. And I do really enjoy it. Like, there's very seldom am I not happy to play Minecraft. You know, I think it's because I can. If, if I, you know, with a, a Minecraft stream, I can very quickly get from something to nothing, you know, or vice versa, from nothing to something. Like, I can either tear something down, I can dig out a hole, I can create a new build, like, I can just, I can usually get something going fairly quickly. It's one of the advantages of having such a long-term project with West Hill is that it, it really is pretty easy to find something to do. Especially now that we're in these final phases of West Hill where... I'm just kind of like fitting in little builds and doing little landscaping bits and like is basically you make build A and you make build B and then you do the gardening and the landscaping in between them and then you repeat that process. And then that goes on here like that.
Oh, cool. And then you hold these down. Meet in the middle. Oh, did I do that wrong? I think this one's backwards. Yeah. Right, so you can put these down as far as they go. And then you can rotate these pieces. Does they meet in the middle? Sure. I think I did that right. And we're going to do something similar again for the other side. Can't find exact numbers, but my Googling says the amount of different Lego bricks pieces is somewhere around over 4,000 different unique pieces. I really, I would have thought it would be more than that. So cool though. I guess if you're not, like 4,000 unique molds, maybe? Because then once you start to get into different colors, it must go just exponential, right? I like how they've got these little yellow details that are recessed. Neat. So this goes on the red side. Yellow bit goes up. Rinse and repeat. with a little something different. Goes like that, connects over here. A lot more colorful than I thought it was going to be. Cool. Uh, and then four of these shiny plates go here. It's getting to the point where it's difficult to like put pressure on it to attach pieces because you can feel things on the other side moving when you do it. That goes like that. It would probably be molds, yeah. For the pieces, that makes sense. From a streaming perspective, I agree that getting a Minecraft stream going is easy. I know it works. I know there will be something to do to work on. I know there will be a possibility that something that happens or suggested in chat might lead to something else too. The other thing right now, and this is not, a, it's not about anybody here, but like on weekends, I tend to get a lot more people that come in and play mine or watch Minecraft. And what happens, I find when I'm doing something, when I'm not playing Minecraft, is people just come in and just constantly talk about Minecraft. And while I appreciate that the fact that there's still a number of people that want to come by, I, I feel like it's a strange 
thing when you're trying to talk about the game that you're playing, you're trying to talk about other stuff, and then people just come in and just, they want to either give you the blow by blow of what they're doing in Minecraft, or they want to know when you're playing Minecraft next, like all that kind of stuff. Just, it's, it's, it's a difficult thing when you're stuck in the, you know, like the, I guess, expectation of the Minecraft community. They tend to just think that it's the only game that you play. I think a lot of that comes from the fact that it's such a time-consuming game that a lot of time it is the only game that people have time to play. I mean, for the longest time, it was for me. All right, so these get attached underneath this. I almost had it. There we go. I also state what numbers I could find were a few years old at this point, so likely outdated by this time. Yeah. So. I would really like to see a new Lego documentary. There's been a couple of Lego documentaries in the last 10 years, but like I would really like to see a, a, a new one. That would be really cool. This goes on this piece right here. Odd. It's fun when they use little pieces like this for, for details. It was like the, um, the circuit board on top of the DeLorean was like that. Yeah, see then the whip, it's gonna be like a wire that you can see going from point A to point B. That's cool. Not, uh, don't know if it's meant to lay flat or what. That this goes here. Goes there. Whoops. This fits right in the middle. That's cool. This goes on the top. Making sure I get a face in the right way. So technically that's the back, I guess. That's cool. Feels a little lopsided, but I'm sure it's accurate. Eight and 12, where'd they go? Oh, I see. That. And then we do the sides, I guess. Oh, and there are different patterns too. So we've got. Two full size. And then we drop down to the small size. That's nice that they changed it up a bit. Again, it is really finicky to try and hold it in a place that's not going to move 
on the other side. That's cool. I like the detail of having the different um, the different sizes. That's cool. It's one of the things I guess when you're designing a Lego piece is that you're thinking about like not just the shape, but also like where the seams are for both structural integrity, but then also the look at the end. And who knows, like this could be designed specifically for access panels for maintenance, you know, from the actual Hubble telescope itself. So that was eight of those and 12 of those. So they have to keep going. It's crazy to think that we started off with like bricks and now we've got a fairly cylindrical object. Like this is very round. You know? It's that's very cool. Uh you're a streamer known for a single game who is uh, who is or is trying to be a variety streamer. I imagine it, that the same thing would happen if you were known for playing chess. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, the thing too is that the the current... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not Lost Leader, but the current funnel to most of my Minecraft streams is the Spawn Chunks podcast. The discoverability through YouTube. Because um, I don't do Let's Play content on YouTube. I don't have the time to edit stuff like that so one of my goals in in 2023 is to get more stuff on things like tiktok and try to funnel more people in and that's the kind of thing where i could totally just um experiment with a couple different games and see who i might be able to bring in this goes over on this side. So why is that? It's weird that we're covering that up. I mean, sure, but it's just strange. Oh, some fun stuff. <clears throat> That and like that. Another one on the end. And then this piece goes on the end. Ah. Need four of these little dudes. Low 88 is gifting one tier one sub to the community. That went out to Jordan2764. Lo, thank you very much for the gift sub. That's amazing. Very much appreciated. Lo, if you haven't already, uh, I think I might have seen you in the Discord, but um, for anybody else that's watching, uh, you can connect your Discord down your Twitch and join us in the Discord in between streams now that you are a sub. Works for Prime Gaming sub, works for gift subs, works for regular tier one. And if you're so inclined, you can also join the Discord on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. We'll get you there. Those don't go in very far. This is a really neat use of this particular piece. We're going to be using the pegs on the top of it. Or the sails, the solar sails, I think. I think that's what they're called. I actually haven't been noting, noting many anecdotes. There's only been a couple of little bits of information to share with you guys. Hopefully they'll say something about what these are. Like that. 
and then we just grab one of these. I'm assuming they are symmetrical, look to be. These just go on here like this. There's just enough tension on the build to keep it in place. That's cool. Uh, and then, oh, and then we've got little things on the end of it here that we can fasten it. See, these would have been better as gold, I think. Like little gold pieces that you'd see in like pirates sets. Some gold chests. That is that. Did I do that the wrong way? Wrong way. Well, I guess I just did. I did the left one. This apart this connects to the side. Do they twist? Oh yeah, they do. Okay. Let's do it again. I must have missed a step somewhere. Did spots here that need pieces. That point at the end of a build, and you're like, nah, "That's too many pieces left over." Now you know what the flower bit was for. Yeah, exactly. I think this is where I got mixed, mixed up last time I sw switched around. And then these four go in. These are pretty cool. This is one of those situations where you're just being very careful, carefully, like the last thing that you want to do is ruin one of these like custom vinyl things from a Lego set. I'm sure you can get replacements, but like it would be just disheartening on the stream, you know, not to be able to finish it. Or to have like what looks like duct tape <laughs> on your uh, on your Lego build or on your telescope. Strange that they put the copyright for Lego for 2021 on the panel. It seems like a I guess they have to protect the Print out. I 
By the way, uh, Stephen, if you happen to be still listening, um, I looked it up after we had our chat on the treadmill the other day, and um, Lego is not a publicly traded company. It's private. You can't buy stock in Lego. Stephen and I were talking about investments, and it's like, man, Lego's doing really well. Like, that should be a stock you should watch. It's like, how have I not thought about that before? And then it's like, oh, <laughs> it's not, you can't. It's not a thing. Not a thing you can do. So this attaches here. I feel like that's still a fair... Oh no, I forgot to put the um, flower piece. I don't feel like that's a lot of pieces that are not, not on this build. I mean, sometimes you're like, yeah, I can I can see what they're doing here. They know that Joel's got a radiator that things can roll under. We're going to give him a couple of extra pieces, you know. That goes like that. So these are the leftover bits. I'm really surprised we have, like, some of these special pieces. I'm going to quickly go over this to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, there's the step that I missed. if there's meant to be something there. Well, that's probably how it attaches to the stand. Yeah, that is. No, I don't think I missed anything. Just little spare parts. And now the Hubble Space Telescope is responsible for the deepest images of the universe uh, ever recorded. That's out of date, but up until the James Webb Telescope was launched and started taking pictures this past year. Uh, in 2022, which contains some galaxies over 13 billion light years away. I think the James Webb telescope has got 13.4 or something farther. I know that much. All right. So this actually really that's this. It goes up. I would have thought the NASA stuff would have been on the top. That's just me. I've got that NASA thing upside down. I thought that was the top, that's why. But that's the NASA bit. This flips over like this. Oh, that's, this is the top. Okay, I thought that's how it was gonna connect to the... Oh, I do have these backwards then. Yeah, this is once it's together it's hard to get it apart get everything snug right so these two bits are what connects to to that that makes sense
not really on there that that heavily. So then tilt these down. There we go. The Hubble Space Telescope. I have to have my hand on this so it doesn't fall off, but that's really cool. You're at three hours, spaceman. <laughs> Thanks. That's funny. Um. So just for for fun, I want to show you guys something. Put this right here. And move this over. I mean, actually, you know what? I'm assuming, let's just assume that these are, this is a single photograph and not Photoshopped and this is to scale. So that is the size of the, of the telescope. And that is the size of the shuttle compared to the telescope. And this is the size of the shuttle in real life. So, or the telescope in real life. So the shuttle is gonna be like, it's not gonna fit in the shot. It's gonna be like that long. That's crazy. Very cool. Uh, well, folks, that's where we're gonna wrap things up. Uh, we will try to pass you on to, to somebody else, so don't go anywhere. It'll probably be a Minecraft player this time of day. That's usually where things tend to go. Uh, but if you've enjoyed this, please leave a follow before you do take off or proceed to the next, uh, the next uh, location. You can, of course, listen to new episodes of The Spawn Chunks every Monday. There's a new one out this week. And a new episode of The Citadel Cafe with myself and Steven is out this week as well. Those are both free. You can find them on their websites. Uh, you can find them on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you want to listen. I'll be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for some Minecraft. Uh, we also have the Minecraft Hangout. If you're a Spawn Chunks patron, that's tomorrow morning. So we'll be doing that uh, at 11 o'clock Atlantic. Again, that's UTC minus four hours. Busy day for me tomorrow. Uh, lots of Minecraft going on. And uh, we'll be back in West still doing some stuff. Uh, don't forget to check out Patreon if you'd like to support the stream. It's the most affordable way to support my work. Uh, I truly appreciate it. I could not do it all without you. And uh, thanks for the subs. Thanks for the gift subs today. Y'all are awesome. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.